or make you know make shots in a game like this. We had I thought we had some of our opportunities, but tip of the hat. I mean, Michigan that Michigan team is for real. They're very good. Um, they got size. They got playmakers. They got wings that can drive it. Um, they really share the game. You know, they they do a really good job, and I thought our effort was great. I thought we played really hard from start to finish. Um, just gotta you know make some shots in a game like that, and uh, you know, but again, tip of the hat to Michigan. Very good. We'll go to questions from Jerry and then Brian Fonseca. Steve, uh, you know, Michigan went went plus thirteen on the glass and outscored you eighteen to five in second chance points. What do you what do you attribute that to? I mean, they're. You know, they've done that all year. I mean, uh, again, um, you know, we had 15 points on turnovers to their two, so we beat them in that category. But they're big, they're physical. Um, you know, we missed a lot of layups, some opportune layups that could have kind of changed things. I thought we had some good looks, too, that could have made it a little interesting. But, you know, good basketball team. I mean, that's as good a team as I've played in my five years here as the coach in this league. So, uh, um, you know, and on the road, we just have to, you know, play a little bit better. But second half, we, you know, we outscored them. Um, you know, they got too many fast break points. I thought that really hurt us, especially in the first half when we were making a little run. Um, but they're a good basketball team. They really are. Steve, you guys shot a ton of mid-range jumpers. Was that the game plan coming in? Was that something Michigan's defense forced? Just what was the? Yeah, that's what they do. You know, they're real hard to finish around the rim. They give you mid-range. We're a good mid-range shooting team. Just didn't go today. And you saw when we got to the rim, they're real hard to finish at the rim. So, um, I mean, they're, they're the most efficient defensive team in our league, and, and they're efficient on the offensive end, too, and you can see why. And they were, they were, and they were good tonight. We'll get a question from Bobby and then Zach. Steve, can you talk about, with four games left, some of the positives you could build on in this game against, you know, what was arguably the best team in the country? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, again, we outscored them in the second half on the road. Um, you know, I told our guys that's, you know, that's the number one seed. That's who you're playing today. So uh, we had our chances, too. You know, I liked how our guys came out. I thought we were focused. Again, you got to make shots in, in a game like this. I thought, you know, making, making those early layups, I think we missed eight in the first half, you know, and some were tougher than others. But um, and then some open threes, that could, you know, some timely open threes uh, could have helped us, too. But. Um, you know, again, we played hard. Um, you know, that's a really good basketball team, but all the teams in our league are good. Um, they just happen to be an elite team with size and the way they share the ball. And, you know, they have three NBA prospects, you know, and they cause many problems for you in a lot of different areas. Um, Steve, I think there was a stretch of 644 in the second half when they did, they, they had one point and you guys offensively didn't really make them pay to, I mean, how, how costly was that stretch where, you know, you really had a ch your defense gave you a chance to really get back in the game? Yeah, I mean, against them, you know, you don't have a lot of margin for error. So, um, you know, you got to take advantage of any opportunity that you can get. And they do a really good job of their defense. is so efficient. Um, they don't give you a lot of easy baskets. When you do get some mid-range stuff, you got to make them. And when you get to the rim, you got to finish. And when you get an open look, you got to finish. And you know, Minnesota was the only team in our league that was able to do that in that game, and they were able to take advantage and make some timely baskets. But, you know, our defense gave us a chance, and, and um, you know, our offense didn't allow us to. But, um, you know, again, it's as good a team as I've seen in five years. So well, it's a good basketball team. Uh, we'll move on quickly. We don't have a lot of time here in this league. We still have four more huge games. And every team in this league is really good. So we'll, we'll – uh, Hopefully get back tonight with the snow and everything and start preparing for the next one. We'll go to Aaron and then back to Jerry. Coach, speaking of that uh, six-plus minute stretch, you held them out of field goal. What was the big difference on the defensive side in the second versus the first half of the football? Aaron, I'm so sorry. You're going in and out, so I didn't really get that question. I'm sorry. Can you repeat it, please? Sure. Sorry about that. Um, just wanted to ask about that stretch uh, in the second half of play. What was different on the defensive side versus uh, the first half? Well, I mean, I thought we were good in the first half, too. They were making some plays. They were getting downhill on us, um, getting to the rim. I mean, Wagner causes problems when he's driving it. He's so big at 6'9", 6 6'10". 6 um, if you come to help, you know, they have a seven-footer under the rim. Um, I thought we did a better job 
you know, we mixed it up a little bit and we got through some screens that we didn't get through in the first half. Um, you know, and I just think, you know, it's hard to simulate that team in practice. So they, they, go, they go full speed and they got a lot of weapons. Every single guy is, is a three-point threat and then they have two seven-footers in the, in the paint. So um, that w- once we settled down, I thought we got ourselves into a good groove there defensively. And, um, you know, we were able to shut them down. But again, you got to do both in this game. Steve, what's the uh, what's the big takeaway for your team? You only you only committed three turnovers against maybe the best defense in the country. What will you say to these guys about what they can gain out of a game like this? Yeah, I, I mean, you, you know, I just told them. I mean, we fought from start to finish in, against the you know the best team, arguably the best team in the country. So we outscored them again in the second half, which was a you know good sign. And um, you know, if it wasn't for the fouls down the stretch, they probably wouldn't um, you know wouldn't have gotten to the seventy. So um, you know. We, we have to be ready to play games like this. And these are the kind of teams that we're going to be facing you know, down the stretch. So I'm proud of our guys. I mean, guys fight. They shared the game. Um, you know, we, the ball stuck a little bit too much in the first half. We moved it better in the second half. Got rewarded for it. But we don't have a lot of time, really. By the time we get back tomorrow and you know, we're on to that next game. So um, we'll watch some film here with the guys. We'll show them the positives that we did today and the negatives. And, and, and we'll move on really, really quickly. Time for one more for Coach Zach, if you had one. Zach, you're muted. If not, we'll, we'll wrap it up with that. All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate the time. Guys, I-